currently 223. Have a great day. Now, a very early good morning to you all. We are whispering because it is about 3 something a.m. here. And we don't want to wake everyone up in our little cave neighborhood. <laughs> Today we are going to be ticking off a life bucket list and that is doing the hot air ballooning here in Cappadocia. We've been waiting many years to do a hot air balloon and yes. the perfect place is Cappadocia. It's going to be absolutely incredible looking at all the cave formations from high up. Yeah, 100% and we're doing the sunrise balloon ride so I think it's going to be incredible. Looks like the weather is all go for us so we're going to be getting picked up in about half an hour's time. So excited! <laughs> Just got picked up and about to have breakfast in this, I guess, hot air balloon facility. I just read something interesting. Sometimes you can actually land sideways, so I hope that's not us today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excited we are. This is just amazing. The scenery is insane. We can see all these fairy chimneys around and we're so close to all the other balloons. It looks like we're all bumping each other. <laughs> being on here. It is, it is unbelievable. So cool. Yeah, I actually spent a lot of time researching all the different hot air balloon companies around here in Cappadocia. There's a lot to choose from. They do a hundred flights daily, so that's over 2,000 people to the way. I decided it was. I tried to find a balloon that didn't take too many people at one time. So we've got 16 people in our balloon. And the largest here takes up to 36 people. And it needs two pilots in that one. <laughs> yeah, insane. the prices range from 140 euro up to 200 euro and some can even be a little bit more than that. So yeah, definitely does pay to do your research. But man, this is incredible. nervous holding the camera over the basket because <laughs> all I can see is down and I don't want him to drop it. <laughs> 
remember if you're booking your flight for a hot air balloon is to try and time it so that you get the sunrise. Uh, Butterfly Balloons, the company that we book with, actually do two routes, one for the sunrise and another one which is half an hour later. And that has something to do with the maximum amount of balloons that are allowed in the sky. There's only a hundred allowed at any one point in time. And so there's a second session. But that second session, unfortunately, doesn't see the beautiful sunrise. It's definitely worth waking up early. Yes, it is, absolutely. If you're wondering how cold it is, we are here in June and it was pretty warm. It was about 14 degrees in the morning, the very early morning. I'm not sure what it is now, but I am definitely more than warm enough. And you get the flame heat going all the time too, so it's not cold and the air is really nice and still. <laughs> Look how close we are to the ground, our pilot has put in. The nickname of the balloon is Titanic. <laughs> We're about to land now and we're just a couple of meters <laughs> off the ground. This was such an epic experience. <laughs> Can't recommend it enough. Look at this, look at this. It looks like we're about to land on this trailer. Wow. Oh. What a pilot. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. Wow. I have to open the package because of inside the balloon line. Enjoy that, bud? Yes, it was incredible. We're up there for about an hour or so, but the time just flies so, so quickly. Hey, I see what you did there. Oh, yeah. Me <laughs> 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 The plate away, eh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the pictures, photos, <laughs> It's quite warm. <laughs> <laughs> go geek, go! <laughs> hey, you should be helping! <laughs> Thank you so much, I'm Thank you. Thank you! Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and after the flight, they even give you champagne to celebrate. One, two, three, go! <laughs> There's non-alcoholic too, so I got orange juice. <laughs> Cheers! So unlike other places where you have a balloon season, in Cappadocia you can do the hot air balloon ride almost the entire year around. Even in winter when the landscape's all covered in snow, which looks incredible yeah, from sure photos does. and videos that we've seen. The best time though apparently is between around April to November and that's when the conditions and the temperature is just right. But it is advisable to stay a bit longer in Cappadocia because it is weather dependent though. So in case of cancellations or postponement, you want to make sure you've got that buffer. Now, I just heard that we're getting certificates, so I think let's go pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
it is the afternoon time now and after our hot air balloon ride we went back to the hotel and had to sleep straight away because we were just knocked out from exhaustion and excitement I guess but we have made our way over to Omucha Art Cafe and this little cute dog Tachin has been following us the entire way this little cutie right here <laughs> Let's go get some food because we really need that. Pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah. It almost feels a bit like a cat cafe because there are so many cats here <laughs> and kittens. They're really cute. <laughs> Unfortunately, they did scare off a little friend touching. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> So I got a pomegranate tea as well as some grilled meatballs and they smell amazing. Got some tomato salad over there. Let's cut into one of these. Oof. Mm. That is amazing. So much flavor. It's perfectly grilled. Everything tastes really fresh too. Oh my gosh, that's yum. It's got like the perfect amount of saltiness that I like. The cats know it too. Yes. Oh gosh, there's even more now. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really felt like grilled chicken today. And so that is exactly what I've got. And oh, look at how juicy this meat is. Oh man. Mm. Mm. Oh. I'm guessing mm. it's as amazing as my one was. It's so juicy. Yeah. And flavorful. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know if days could get any better than this hot air balloon in the morning. Yeah. Some delicious food in the afternoon. In such a cool cafe. Mm. It looks amazing. Absolutely. Cute cats. And we've got all these little friends now. <laughs> <laughs> Where we are, bud. We are at Imagination Valley and we can already see the camel. <laughs> it's a special camel and it's just over there. Yes. Can't wait to look at it. We've taken a taxi over. Our driver is Ayup and he's just gonna wait for us while we go have a quick look. Let's go check out the rocks. You can actually hear all the thunder in the background yeah. and uh, we're actually pretty lucky because normally it's really blazing hot but with the possible rain coming <laughs> it's actually quite cool today and this is something that we really wanted to see this is the camel rock formation which is really famous in the area I thought that I could see it while we were in the hot air balloon I'm not maybe <laughs> I'm just dreaming things up but yeah look at how amazing that is it actually really looks like a camel yeah it does it hasn't even eroded or anything yet yeah and even if you look out onto this side where there's all these other stones, you can't help but what, imagine, like the name of this place suggests, <laughs> that there are other animal formations right over there too. These are meant to be seals with really, really little heads. Oh yeah, true, seal with a little ball on the nose. lucky as soon as we got back into the taxi it started bucketing with rain so we're going to be heading back to the hotel now and calling it a wrap for the day what an incredible day it was though with that hot air balloon and then fantastic lunch and very lucky to see that little camel <laughs> <laughs> it's been awesome yeah we hope you guys enjoyed following along and if you did please remember to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and leave us a comment we love hearing from you we will catch you in the next vlog. See everybody. See you.